haven't tried this in a while, so let's see how well I can spin these days. Okay, not perfect, but that took a few tries. And I'm getting dizzy, so it'll have to do. Hello everyone, Pat Smodgy here. I know it's been a while since a video has been posted to this channel, but thanks to Factory One Motorsports, they are coming back. This video is mainly just to announce that, but I might as well get some riding in too, right? I'm going to start out nice and technical. I'm definitely not warmed up yet, so we'll see how this goes. But it's a very pinpoint line. Did I land on it? Just right that time. Looks pretty good, so move the front over just barely a little bit to there. That line really tests your balance, precision, and timing because each spot that you put your tire is not only narrow but thin, so you can't just drive into the next one. You have to lift from one to the next, being very precise, and get your timing just right to get the zap up to the top. I have a lot of video ideas for myself, as well as plenty of other riders, but I wanna know what you guys wanna see, so be sure to let me know in the comments below. This is one of the most difficult splatters out here, so hopefully I'm warmed up now, but it's a very skinny line that you have to hit. There's an undercut here you don't wanna catch, over here you don't wanna catch that either, so you wanna be right in the middle. It's pretty narrow, it slopes back at you, and there's not a lot of room on top either, so it takes a lot of control and a lot of lift to make it happen. See if I can do it. So I made it, but I ended up holding pressure and just dropping off the other side because I didn't quite have my balance together and couldn't set the front where I wanted to. So I'm gonna try it again, try to set the front with more control and then turn left. That time I was just too far right, knew it from the takeoff, tried to hold on to it, but it wasn't enough. There we go. So that time I tried to get a hair more rotation so when my rear tire hit, it could drive further and that allowed me to control the landing on top. If you make a comment with your video idea and include your t-shirt size and state that you live in, you will have a chance to win a championship shirt. Here is a very difficult wheelie. Might take a few tries down to the end. Turn around here, wheelie out across that one. Not easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not pretty, but got it done. I've done a lot of videos on this channel in the past, so if you are new here, be sure to go back and check out some of those. If you stick around, there will be plenty more trials and enduro content to come. I have to do at least one rear tire line, right? This one is pretty tough. That side angle. And up to this one is a pretty good gap. And one more gap. Hannah's here to film this one. Who wants to see her ride some more? close. That's a big one from the rear tire. It keeps sinking back and angling more, so it's hard to give it enough power without spinning to get that gap. Oh, come on. I just tried to roll it from back there, but I was not lined up. Fell to the left. Gotta get it straight out clean. That was a bit forced, a bit rushed, but running against the clock with some rain coming in, so I wanted to get it before it gets real slick. Okay, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and are looking forward to more. If you want to support this channel, you can like, share, subscribe, and all that, or more importantly, you can consider making your next trials or enduro purchase at factorownmotorsports.com or through your local dealer. Thanks for watching.